Hello everyone, this is Dr. Abhinav and in this video today, we'll be seeing about the NEET PG 2022 exam, the plan for final 55 days. So the scheduled exam date is on March 12. Keeping that in mind, we'll, we still have uh, 55 days left for us. So in this video, I'll be telling you how to strategize effectively for the final 55 days. And uh, I've also uh, provided a schedule uh, which I'll be discussing later. And I'll also be talking about the grand test that is to be given, previous year questions to solve, those kind of things. So before we start, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe. Uh, let's start the video. So the basic principles for this uh, final 55 days is that you will need to have your utmost dedication for this exam. So you will need to revise your notes at least nine hours for a day and uh, at least four hours of MCQs should be solved and should uh, the answers for those MCQs should also be revised. So per day, you should solve at least 100 to 150 MCQs or even more than that if you can. But the more important thing is that you should uh, assess on the MCQs, how you have answered, which questions you have done wrong and the topics which you think you are weak in, those kind of things should be dealt with. So the grand test is to, uh, is to be given every for once for every 15 days and uh, i have also inserted that in between the schedules so i will show that next so i know it's kind of uh, tiring to study for 13 to 14 hours a day but uh, this is just for the final 55 days and uh, giving to give you a best you will need to prepare the best and uh, the most important thing is as i've said is to be dedicated and should stick to your schedule so the study plan is for uh, the first year subjects, I've given uh, two days each. And the main thing is that we'll target to revise the notes completely for once. And then we'll be also solving the MCQs in between and grant tests also. In. So for anatomy, I've given for two days in which you will have to read the notes and also solve MCQs on anatomy. So same, that, same like that, it's for the first year subjects. And for the second year subjects, as it is, I have uh, given again uh, two days each in which you will have to revise the notes and also solve the MCQs. For PSM, I have given three days. And uh, after all these subjects, first year, second year subjects plus PSM, we will give you a first mock test. So that is on January 30th. So one day completely for mock test because you will have to attend the exam in the morning and then evening you will have to revise your answers and see which subjects you are weak in or which subjects you think you have uh, you will need to improve then on january 31 and uh, february 1 you will be reading uh, forensics and solving the mcqs then again two days for opta and two days for ent then uh, one day each for anesthesia derma psychiatry radio so you know uh, these four days you will be uh, revising these four subjects and also solving the uh, mcqs of the respective subjects so for medicine i have given four days then after medicine we will be giving you mock test number two. This is on February 14th. Then uh, after that, you will do surgery for four days, then ortho, PDF for one day each, and OB gyni for four days. So this is the complete schedule. Uh, the study plan which starts from January 15th, that is from uh, tomorrow till uh, February 24th. So in this time, you will have to completely revise everything at least once and have, should have solved MCQs of all the sub, all these subjects. Plus you would have given at least two mock tests. Then after, the, uh, after that, on February 25th, you will do MCQ revisions of all the subjects that you have learned before. So till February 24th, you had completed all the subjects. And on February 25th, what you will do is, you will do a basic MCQ revisions of all those subjects as much as possible. Then on February 26th, mock test number three that, uh, which is kind of important because uh, this is the first mock test that you are going to give after doing your final revision of all the 19 subjects. And February 27, you will solve the previous year MCQ of 2021 paper, need PG paper. And from February 28 to March 2, what you will do is you will do the retrospective study. So on these four days, you will be solving as much as possible. You will be solving MCQs as much as possible. And uh, when you feel that you are weak in some concepts, this is the best time to go back to your notes and uh, revise those concepts because the final the final 10 days, whatever you read, 
it's going to kind of stick in your mind so you will uh, come to know the weak subjects and your weak subjects that which you can patch up in the final 10 days so march 3 you will do the mock test number 4 march 4 5 six, again retrospective study mcqs and going back to your notes march 7 previous year question 2020 it bg paper march 8 and 9 again retrospective study and march 10 we will solve the neat pg 2019 question paper so after this on march 11 we will give you a final mock test in this mock test you will come to know how many marks you you probably can expect in your neat pg exam because the mock mock test usually uh, how much ever you get you can score a uh, plus or minus 50 marks from that mark so it's basically kind of uh, assessing yourself and also uh, knowing how to solve the questions and uh, having the attitude of solving questions properly and the time management is kind of most important thing to be uh, dealt with here so this is the final study plan that uh, uh, i'm uh, trying to uh, give give it to you so you can uh, design this plan according to yourself as also you can make adjustments in this so this is just a general plan for everyone that uh, i'd like to share for uh, I like to say for you. So that's all. Keep uh, working. Keep working hard. So you can clear this exam anyways. The most important thing is that you will have to score a very good rank for which you will have to be uh, tougher than others and should have should prepare more effectively compared to others. So all the best for you guys. And uh, if you are subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe. Thank you.